Greetings from Boston. I'm Tyler Sklodnik and I'm here to talk to you today about species selection for marine-based aquaculture. Salmon is definitely still the most common species that's grown. Uh, most of our instrumentation and sensors cater to that market. Uh, but we're increasingly getting inquiries from clients in the tropics who are looking at a whole bunch of different species. Uh, Red snapper is very popular, barramundi, different species in the cereola family. So there's a lot of emerging species right now that we're really excited about. There's different challenges for every species. Um, and the cobia is a great example. One of our clients, Open Blue Sea Farms, is having a lot of success right now, but it took them a while to ramp up. It's a great fish from a biological perspective, and a lot of the protocols were in place from the academic world, but there wasn't a lot of market recognition, and so they had to do a lot of work on the branding and marketing side to make it a commercial success. So there can be a lot of different problems or issues with different species, and it can take sometimes a year or two and a significant amount of investment, but whether that work is in the hatchery or offshore or with the marketing team will be different for each species. Definitely let the market dictate your decision. A lot of people have an idea and they fall in love with it. And when they start doing research and might discover that the local market isn't big enough or the market price isn't where they need it to be, they're very hesitant to change. So my advice would be to call a seafood buyer or distributor and ask them, what species can you not get enough of? And that's probably the species you're gonna to wanna to go with. 